Hey everyone, how are you? This is Rashida Malade Soy. Welcome back to Marry Let's Talk. For the past couple of videos, we've been talking about um, raising up our children, um, training our sons, and um, I had gotten a, um, uh, I usually do questions and answers um, on Wednesdays. Today's Wednesday, I wanted to answer a particular guy's um, question, like, Rashida, why is it that I'm always talking about the guys and I never really see anything about the ladies? And um, Proverbs 7 is talking about the ladies. So let me read that real quick, okay? So it says, my son, keep my words and treasure my commands within you. Keep my commands and live my law as the apple of your, life, of your eye. Bind them on your fingers, write them on the tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, you are my sister. And call understanding your nearest kin, that they may keep you from the immoral woman, okay? From the seductress who flatters with her words. Um, I'm gonna go to 10. And there's a woman And she met him with the attire of a harlot and a crafty heart. She was loud and rebellious. Her feet would not stay at home. Her feet would not stay at home. At times she was outside, at times in the open square, lurking at every corner. Okay, so she caught him and kissed him with an impudent face. She said to him, I have peace offerings within me. Today I have paid my vows. So I came out to meet you, diligently to seek your face. And I have found you. I have spread my bed with tapestry, colored coverings with Egyptian linen. With Egyptian linen, I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love unto mourning. Let us delight ourselves with love, for my husband is not at home. My husband is not at home. So she's married. So she's married. And she's out there in a the corner. She's out there doing everything in the mama, but her husband is a traveler and she is asking this dude, hey, hubby ain't home. Okay, let's do this. He has gone on a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him and will come home on the appointed day. With her enticing speech, she caused him to yield. With her flattering lips, she seduced him. Immediately he went after her as an ox goes to his slaughter. Okay? or as a fool to the correction of the stocks. Till an arrow struck his liver as a bird hastened to the snare. He did not know it would cost him his life. Now, therefore, listen to me, my children. Pay attention to the words of my mouth. Do not let my heart, or do not let your heart turn aside to her ways. Do not stray into her path, for she has cast down many and has wounded many. And all who were slain by her were strong men. They don't go after weaklings. They go after strong men. Her house is the way to hell, descending to the chambers of death. So it's all in the word. It's all in the word. You know, I was listening to something that Medea said the other day, and she was saying that, you know, some people are supposed to be in your life for a season, but then you end up marrying them, turning them into a wife, turning them into a husband, and then want to live a lifetime with them, which will eventually be a lifetime of hell. Lifetime of hell. Because they're not the person you're supposed to be with. Now, check this out. Husband is somewhere working. 
trying to make sure everything is okay. And she's doing what? Lurking around corners. Men, be careful of who you choose as wife. Be careful of who you choose as wife. Pray on it. Find out who she is. Don't say, oh, that was her past. She's no longer like that. Okay. Find out who she is. Women, really? What a man can do, we can do better, of course. What a man can do, we can do better. So he cheating. So therefore, you got to, you know, lower who you are and get out there and do it better. That's no excuse. Like God would never even, that's no excuse. So when your father's to ask you, so uh, is it true that you're cheating? Are you out there? Yeah. He started it. He cheated first. So, you know, I wanted to show him that I can do it. Girl, you need to understand that the biggest sin ever is a is the sin against our own bodies. The body that God has um, given us, you know, they're supposed to be sanctified, holy, giving it back to God. You don't because somebody cheat, then you also want to lower who you are and get out there and show him what. You never see a lot of, you don't see girls say, oh, I screwed him and I screwed him and him and him and him and that's supposed to be a great thing. But you would see God sit down and say, you know what? Been there, been there, been there. And his guys would be like, yeah, you hit that, you hit that, yeah? Wrong. Men, that is wrong. But women, that is even more wrong. <laughs> this, you can't sit in the midst of your girls and say, well, I screwed him and I screwed him and they looking at you like, yeah, girl, yeah, girl. Maybe if you are a known prostitute, but you are a wife. In the midst of how many wives would you sit down and say, well, I screwed him and I screwed him and I screwed him. And they're supposed to be like, girl, you better go ahead. But even with all of that, the biggest reason why you shouldn't even do it is because you're married. You're supposed to be done away with your past life, if that was your past life, and moving into a new life, yeah, your husband travel. If you're not working, go with him. If you are working, wait for him. It's wrong. So for the question that Mr. Jeffrey asked, it's not that I'm always on men, but I just feel like no one is talking to men. Men don't have any mentors. So I decide to take the Holy Bible and read what the scripture says. Not what Rashida said, but what the scripture says about, you know, being married, about staying sacred to your wife, about taking care of her, about loving her, respecting her. And she also respecting you. And, you know, stay away from the devourers that are coming after you. Check this out. The man didn't go after her. And this is what I be trying to tell some men. The guy didn't even, he didn't go after her. She went looking, lurking around for him. So when we try to tell our husbands, be careful. The women you, you, you're, you're talking to or smiling at. Or trying to be nice to. Because basically what happened here was that the guy was not even thinking of her. So she caught him and she kissed him. She caught him. Why? Because it's someone that she's been planning for. Yeah, she's been planning for because it says, And there a woman met him with the attire of a harlot and a crafty heart. She was loud and rebellious. Her feet would not stay at home. At times she was outside 
at times in the open square, lurking at every corner. So she caught him and kissed him. With an impudent face, she said to him, I have peace offerings with me. Today I have paid my vows. So I came out to meet you diligently to seek your face. And I, I found you. I came out to seek you. You don't go out looking for who you don't know. She went planning for who she do, she do know. Someone she knew. So you at work, being nice, being kind, hard. Oh, Just doing you. Don't even know what the woman is planning. Don't even know what's 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 under her sleeves. And she is so excited. Why? Because you make her laugh. You're so nice. You're so amazing. Her husband don't make her laugh like that. Her husband don't give her the time of day. Her husband don't buy her lunch. You paying for lunch at work? For a significant other? Yes, your mind may not be there. You're just being nice. And then what happened? One day she catch you on a... And she takes you and she kisses you. What you gonna do? You, oh, oh no. You be, What? These days, the cameras and videos are everywhere. And she probably recording it too. Because before she comes to you and do that, she may feel, what if he rejects me? Let me have a recording. Let me take pictures. And those are everything that will be her evidence against you. You don't know what she's planning. You're just a nice guy. But you're married though. Yeah. So she lurks him. And she tells him, look, my husband is not around. He took enough money to be gone for a couple of days. My bed is spread. I got everything on there, sprayed up, ready for me and you to do whatever to the morning light. And bro, man, he probably haven't heard anything like that from his own wife. So therefore, ooh, that sounds good. Free sex on a nice sheet, Egyptian linen. Oh, how we doing? Ooh. And you get caught. And you get caught. You go into another man's wife. Another man's wife. For that little five minute enjoyment of what? The little five minutes. Is that worth everything? That's worth your future. It's worth your family. It's worth your career. Because nothing works out after that. It doesn't work out. And the thing is, you're not the only one she's screwing. So she is determined to go out there and destroy men's life. That's her. That's what she does. She hasn't given her life to Christ yet. This is what she does. So your life is all screwed up. And then you're expecting your wife now to be your significant other. Pray you through. Pray you out of it. Because you were weak. Because you messed up. Okay, what about the man that messes up all the time? So therefore, uh, he, he always promising he's not going to do it again. He said he's not going to do it again. So I forgave him this time and I forgave him and I forgave him and I forgave him. And he still continue to do it. So then, you know what? I'm tired of it. So I'm going to get out there and do whatever. So she too will get out there and she starts the cheating. Now, God, I pray y'all don't have no kids. Because y'all, oh, Lord. Woman, it's better for you to tell a man that you're no longer interested and you're done and you're so finished with this relationship and go than for you to be living in your man's house and you're cheating. The punishment is always harder on the woman. Always harder. Why? I, don't, I was reading... Something the other day and he was saying that, you know, a woman's punishment is always harder because we're expected to know better. Really? But it is harder, especially if you have children. 
Because doing something like that now passes down to your kids. It's a, it's a spirit. Now it passes down to your kids. I'm not going to take too much of your time on this one. So it's just wrong. It's wrong. I would rather, you know, you're not in a relationship with this person. You've seen that, you know, he's not changing. He ain't, he's not trying to respect you. He's not trying to respect your marriage. Um, just get out. Get out. I know a lot of people say, oh, it's easy for you to say because, you know, ain't no man out there. I'd rather not be with a man than to be with one that's going to be bringing me all sorts of diseases, bringing me disrespect, you know, and still eat my food and still want to sex me. Really? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. No. So, ladies, don't belittle yourself. Don't. Um, bring yourself low because a man allowed something to happen to him. He's pouring something out of him into her. You're going out there receiving what they're pouring now. Ah! Anyway, thank you so much for watching Mary. Let's talk. Keep the questions coming. Um, it's not like I'm siding women a lot of times, but I speak to a lot of women and I, and I, I know a lot of what they go through. So, um, yeah, they are some challenging women out there. Yes, most definitely. And, um. And and they're being talked to too. I I I had to keep my silence because there are more men out there doing crap than women. And when I speak to the married women, um, majority of them are not out there for the kill, to destroy their family and to cheat and to the, those those are really to tell you the truth, rare rare women. But not to say that they don't exist. But when it comes to men. I feel like um, it doesn't make any sense. Okay. So thank you so much for listening. I do appreciate you. Take care. God bless you.